Houston police are searching for a boarding house worker accused of tying up a senior citizen, which led to the man's death. Only on KHOU 11 News tonight, Sherman Chow speaks with another resident who saw what happened. It's an ordinary house in a typical South Houston neighborhood, but back in May, this was a group boarding home. About a dozen guys that were sleeping in beds out in the garage. I spoke by phone with that former resident who is also a key witness. He says a man he knew as Cliff would get tied up. HPD identified that man as the victim, Clifton Joseph Barber. If he didn't obey the house rules, the guy that was in charge of the uh, people staying out in the garage would tie him down. Have you ever seen those white shower chairs? Yes. It was one of those. And his legs were tied to the legs of the chair, and he, his arms were tied to the arm of the chair. The ties were so tight that it created kind of an abscess in his, in an infection in his arm that he later died from. Barber was allegedly bound from midday to sunset. The coroner also found blunt force trauma across the victim's body and ruled the death a homicide. The suspect is 56-year-old John Grant, charged with injury to an elderly person. Grant has previous arrests for aggravated sexual assault, bodily injury, and more. HPD says Grant worked at another boarding home. Both residences were unlicensed. The unlicensed um, group in boarding homes, unregulated group in boarding homes, is becoming a huge issue. How many people were in the house altogether? If I remember correctly, it was... Uh... Around 36. Both of those unlicensed homes are now shut down. Sherman Chow, KHOU, 11 News.